Now, I hate to blame Jaw for this, but he's been a little restless with all the stops that we've been making since we've been on this trip, so I haven't been stopping and making a lot of uh, video of all the cool houses, but I gotta say, Monterey, Pacific Grove, and Carmel have some of the most amazing houses I've ever seen in my life. Victorian style in Pacific Grove, Carmel, I don't even know what you would call things like this, but we're actually here to see a famous Frank Lloyd Wright house that's right on the beach. It's actually called the Mrs. Clinton Walker House. And you know it if you ever saw a summer place. Now I believe this house is called Cabin on the Rocks and Frank Lloyd Wright designed it in 1948 for Mrs. Clinton Walker who moved in in 1951. Take a look at this house. This isn't even it, but look at all the beautiful statues and everything in the yard. Look at this, there's a woman holding a, an umbrella statue. Now this is the outside of the house and you can already see with all those horizontal lines, it's very Frank Lloyd Wright. And if you look at the roof over there, you can even see it's got that Frank Lloyd Wright feel. There it is. In a summer place, Ken and Sylvia say that Frank Lloyd Wright's building this house for them and it's, the, but the movie takes place on the east. But it's actually here. It's actually here right off of Carmel because Mrs. Clinton Walker was the widow of, a, uh, of her husband and her owned like 216 acres up here. And so she told Frank Lloyd Wright that she wanted a house built that was as sturdy as the rocks. So he actually built the house on boulders and uh, you can kind of see there's like that red, that red bracing around the windows that make this whole thing look like a ship. And I love the, the stair steps and everything right there. When I found out that was over here, I was like, oh man, we gotta come take a look at that. It's one of the most popular Frank Lloyd Wright houses there is. Because when you look at it from the water, it looks like a, uh, like a ship just kind of like beached on the, on the shore. Now, I just read online that apparently every bedroom in this house has an ocean view. And um, some people were just walking by and talking to me and they were telling me that um, they had a pretty harsh winter here and part of this wall right here actually had fallen and that it's been replaced. And we were looking at it, I said, you know, if you wouldn't have told me that, I really probably wouldn't have noticed. You can see a little discoloration, but uh, this house is a historical landmark, of course. So. They, um, they have it open to the public one day a year in June, so maybe, who knows, if I'm around and I'm not out of the country, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try and come up here and check it out. I would love to take a look. There's a little bit better view. Isn't that great? God, I love that. Thanks to the lady at my Airbnb. She's the one that told me, she said, hey, if you're gonna be down there in Carmel, you gotta go by the summer house place. And I go, wait, the ship one? She said, yeah, she said, it's there. She said, you, uh, you take a little walk way down and it's just to your left. So we went the other way. We're actually on the right, but she said, yeah, that's a very famous Frank Lloyd Wright. And I said, I, I actually knew that that was Frank Lloyd Wright, but I didn't realize it was up here. I thought just like the movie said that it was on the East Coast. So it's pretty cool to see that. There's that statue of the woman with the, uh, the umbrella I was telling you about. Very, very Frank Lloyd Wright garage door. And not a bad view. And before we left the uh, Cypress Inn, I picked up a few really great postcards for you guys. And check out this. Oh, we've made it. I've read about this place for a while, the Robinson Jeffers Tour House. This was, this was the poet's house where he did a lot of his creative writing and he actually took two adjoining properties and made them like castle-like. They do tours, but since I have jaw, I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I had to at least show you guys the grounds because this guy built these himself with the rocks and everything himself. Look at that, beautiful. That is magnificent. Well, they already started their last tour for the day. 
but they're so nice that they actually let me come onto the grounds a little bit and show you guys. Now, like I said, this is, this is unlike anything you're gonna find even in Los Angeles. So when you come to Carmel, these kind of places, this should be on your list. Look at that. Look at that. He built all of that. And she said I can actually, uh, I, do, I can't go in this building because they have a tour going on. But I can show you the outside. And this other building, they, the tour is gone, so I'll walk us in to this room and, uh, and I'll show you guys just from the doorway. Isn't this amazing? And it's on the National Archive of Historic Places, thank God. You would hope, wouldn't you? Look at that. And then check out the stones going around that look like seashells. Read up on it, Robinson Jeffers Tour House. I guarantee next time you're in Carmel, you'll want to come here. That was very cool of them to let me see, even though they're done for the day. They only do tours on Fridays and Saturdays, so keep that in mind if you're coming, that uh, Friday and Saturdays from, I think, 11 to 4. And then here's the outside of the house from the street. This is what you see as you're driving by it. Well, that's an absolutely perfect reason to come back. We'll go do a tour of the inside and film that sometime. The tour house. I think where we're going next is right up this hill. There it is, the Mission Ranch in Carmel. Well, unfortunately, we couldn't stay here at this Mission Ranch Inn, even though I would have loved to because they don't allow dogs to stay. But the reason I want to come here is because this is a long time dairy farm that's been in Carmel forever. And it was originally deeded to a Native American guy who lived next to the Carmel Mission. It's had almost 40 owners since, and they were gonna turn this all these grounds into, a, um, into like a housing development until one man stepped in and purchased the land and saved it and turned it into what it is now which is a hotel inn where you can stay. Who was that guy that did that? Let me think. His name was Clint Eastwood. So Mr. Clint Eastwood is now the owner of the Mission Ranch Inn and not only former mayor, but now beloved landowner because a lot of people were really worried about what was going to happen to this property because it's one of the oldest, actually it is the oldest dairy farm um, in the area. So they've <coughs> kept it as original as possible. I mean, of course the tennis courts aren't, but this bunkhouse right here is the oldest house on the property. The one that we started out at, was, that was the main house that was built when one of the uh, future, the people who lived here for like 40 years, that farming family, um, I believe their last name was Martin when they lived here. That was their house. But this bunkhouse has been here since, I believe, the 1600s. So let's go to the front and take a look. I was hoping to pop in here and uh, have a little tea or coffee or something, you know, just to, to get to enjoy the experience. But they're not open yet. They're not going to be open for a couple hours, so I don't think we'll be here. But I was told this is one of the best places in all of Carmel to watch the sunset. I was recommended to come here and get dinner and then just watch the sun go down. And I totally can imagine what that would be like from looking at this. Here's another shot of the main house. I think that's a little bit better representation of it before we head over to the bunkhouse. Look at that huge tree stump that they turned into. A little work of art. Good job, Clint Eastwood. Just another reason to like you. As if we really needed any more reasons to like Clint Eastwood. Here's the bunkhouse. Oh, I was mistaken, 1852. 
For some reason, I thought it was 1652. Eh, big, di big difference. But yeah, beautiful. Alrighty, well, we're gonna head back to our place because old Joster's getting gassed out and I know he wants to play with his buddies, so I hope you guys won't mind. We're gonna go back and hang out at the fort. We gotta see everything I wanted to see. How about you? Did we get to see everything you wanted to see? Let's go back to the farm and see your buddies. You know, it's always a great thing to remember that we can always come back. We get to see things like that that just tempts us to come back even more. Well, like I said, Jaws kind of gassed out, so we don't have time to do the uh, Carmel mission, but I'll show it to you as we're by it. Like I said, that's another reason to, uh, another reason to come back. Oh, his buddies were waiting on him to come home. They were waiting on you, weren't they? Oh, great. <laughs> He's so happy. Yeah, now that we're back, I'm gonna relax for a little bit. And then I'm gonna hop in the hot tub that they got fixed yesterday. Relax. Ooh, I just noticed this one. Good one. Well, he looks like he's having a relaxing time, doesn't he? Are you having fun? What's your story? So we were just told there's a pretty cool market in town. We're gonna go get a bite to eat. Bring it back. Could this be foreshadowing? I don't know. Oh wow, their old post office here is awesome. It's all part of this. Oh yes, welcome. And we were told to come to the windmill market. So that's where we came. Oh nice, very nice. Well first, it's not just a clever name. You actually get a windmill, so you get points for that. And then secondly, cool old barn facade. Yeah, this is where we want to get a burrito. Great decorations. We got yelled at for filming immediately, so we got our food, we're out of here. Now I was told that grocery store, that market had great burritos. And when I was in there ordering it, there were two people waiting, and I made a comment about, ooh, that looks good, and the people in line looked at me and they go, oh yeah, it is, so now I'm really excited. Oh yeah, it looks good. First bite reactions, incredible. It really is great. Oh, and I forgot to show you in yesterday's video when I was leaving the Cypress Inn, they had Doris Day business cards, and a lot of them, so. I had made friends with the girl at the counter. She loved that I was a vlogger, and I told her what I was vlogging and everything, so. I said, do you mind if I grab a handful? I want to send them out to people that watch. And she said, absolutely, go for it. So I have a small handful of these to take out or uh, send out to you guys. And this particular one, I think I'm going to give to Scott Michaels for his museum. Well, we're going to call it a night here from San Juan Bautista. Have a great night, everyone. I want to thank Liz O'Connor and Henry Gonzalez for becoming my newest Patreons. And tomorrow, we're gonna unfortunately, well, fortunately, all good things must come to an end. We're gonna take off from here and looks like we're gonna go spend some time in Santa Barbara for a few days. Have a great night and we'll see you all then. Good bye.